it's seven o'clock in the morning i woke up super early today this is my second cup of coffee already but i wanted to get the day started do my makeup share about some smashbox products that were sent to me kind of as pr it's not a collaboration if it's a collaboration i will specifically say this is a collaboration that we discussed i discussed with the brand to share about this this was just sent to me because smashbox is now sold on amazon earlier this year Too faced sent me some products because they're now on amazon sometime last year i got sent some products from a cosmetics they're also on amazon so a lot of really good brands lancome they have legitimate storefronts on amazon you can shop their storefronts directly they sent me some oldies but goodies as well as some new products that i wanted to try so we're just gonna play around with makeup the first one is this smashbox photo finish this doesn't even need an introduction this is an oldie but a goodie if you watched the makeup tutorials from like Jaclyn Hill, Nicole Guerrero. I'm not sure if Jaclyn used this. I think Nicole might have. This was just a very well-loved product. It is kind of like a silicone-y primer and it really blurs and primes the skin for your makeup. But I kind of apply, I already did my skin by the way, but I apply in areas where I feel like I will need it. This product I have not tried. It is the new, it's new to me, Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 25 in it. I have it in the shade light medium right now. I am not self-tanned at all. They actually reached out and asked what shade that I wanted. So when I first apply it, it's going to be a little bit more orange. I promise it will make it work. I chose light medium because I usually self-tan throughout the year. So I wanted a shade that I can wear kind of like universally. Something that wouldn't be too light. And for me, it's easier to make a darker foundation lighter versus a lighter foundation darker. But this product, I've used it for about a week now. And I really do like it. It is kind of like a thicker moisturizer. It almost feels like a thick serum. I'm going to show you guys on half of the face how it performs. And I was really impressed by the coverage. Like for being a tinted moisturizer, this had pretty decent coverage. You're going to see that it doesn't cover all of my blemishes, but it gives you a really nice canvas. It's really easy to blend in. And then once it did kind of settle in, I felt like I had nothing in my skin. I felt like I literally applied nothing. And I want to say it has a, a glowy finish. I know it's called the Halo Glow, or not Halo Glow, the Halo Healthy Glow. But in my personal opinion and experience, it kind of dried down to a satin finish. Here is without, and here is with. And it just gave me like a nice, even, it is tinted moisturizer, it's not a foundation, so it's very light coverage. But it did make my skin look healthy. So I, I can see why they called it a Halo, the Healthy Glow. It's actually a perfect name for it. I think nowadays when we think glowy, we think it has to be dewy. And for me, I much prefer a glow, like a healthy glow for within as if my skin is very supple and moisturized. And I think this is what this does, but it's not dewy, which I'm glad because I'm not crazy about dewy looks, but glowy, like that healthy glow for, from within, I feel like they really nailed it with this. So honestly, I've been really liking it. All right, here is the entire face done. Honestly, you can just, if you're like a tinted moisturizer girl, you slap this on, walk out the door, and you're good to go. Me, I like to make it a little bit more full coverage, so I'm going to go in with my Dior Skin Correct Concealer. This is my favorite concealer of all time, and I do have more, like I'm developing more fine lines and stuff, especially around my eyes, and I have dry skin, so I've been following this makeup artist, celebrity makeup artist on TikTok, and what she recommends is to always prime the brush, meaning you prep it first by dipping it into concealer for me i'm always used to applying concealer first and then not applying concealer super close to the lash line so i'm going to start a little bit away from the lash line and not pressing it directly under the lash line because she's like you're just asking for creasing when you do that and this spritz my face with a little bit of setting spray just kind of melt that into the skin before i move in to the next product which is the most beautiful highlighter you will ever try in your entire life this is an oldie but a goodie if you watch jacqueline hill you remember her champagne pop collaboration that she did with becca i believe smashbox bought becca or bought the rights to it i'm not sure how that works but i am so glad that they did and kept it alive and well they sent it to me in the shade rose quartz it is truly just the most beautiful highlighter you will ever try. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. Love this stuff, it is very well loved. This was sent to me once again, like I said, when It Cosmetics announced that they too now have a storefront on Amazon. I mean, look at this. Amazing product. I've been using this every single day. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. You can see it in person, like when you're up close, it kind of looks a little bit metallic -y. like you can tell that it has this rose gold type tint to it and it will emphasize like i have some fine lines but it's still such a beautiful product i'm gonna do a little bit inner corner highlight i don't think i'll ever give up my inner corner highlight and then i kind of like to bring it into the lid space nyx buttermelt bronzer love this stuff they also sent me their waterproof coal liner here and i have been using felt tip liners 
I know people, some people don't even use liners. Sometimes I'll use eyeshadow. But felt tip liners, like the liquid formulas, for me, I have very oily eyelids. So a good laugh, a good cry, and it's completely gone. This stayed on all day into the next day. I actually have some left over on my bottom lash line from yesterday. I didn't remove all my makeup. I was just so tired. So like around the eyes, I went over quickly. So if you struggle with eyeliner lasting, a cold pencil might be your answer. And then they also sent me a mascara, which right now I have lashes on, but it's called their Super Fan Mascara. This is what the applicator looks like. It has those plastic silicone type bristles. This will definitely fan your lashes out. It's actually called Super Fan. So this will really work to like fan your lashes out and give you like that long spidery look. If you're looking for volume, then you're gonna need a brush that looks like this. This one right here. This one will give you more so volume. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara. I really love this mascara and I love tubing mascaras because I feel like tubing mascaras last so well on my oily lids and then removing them is so easy. So I'll have to give this a try when I don't have any lashes on. And then they also sent me a liquid lipstick in this stunning bright electric red and I have tried it. It's very very comfortable on the lips. It's probably the most comfortable liquid lip I've ever tried. The only thing is I feel like because it's so comfortable it never really dried down all the way and because it's such a bright red color I would always accidentally kind of touch it and then I would get it in the furniture and it can be very messy. So it's not my favorite formula but it is a really fun color. For me I prefer like the vinyl Maybelline ones these usually are very transfer resistant, at least in my experience. This is the shade Peekaboo Neutral. And then I'm going in with my Color Science Lip Shine. It's like an SPF lip gloss. I love this lip gloss. It's a topper for everything, but it's very expensive. They said, I, got, I got it sent to me back when we lived in our old house from, I think it's a Derm store or something like that when I was doing a collaboration with them. I'm just going to finish off with my brows. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch, one of my favorite products. This is the final look. I basically did a full face using a very light tinted moisturizer, some concealer. The highlighter is definitely the star of the show. And I'm really happy with how my makeup turned out. Thank you to Smashbox Amazon for sending these over. I'm so grateful to have been able to try them out and share them with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and I hope to see you guys in future videos.